All right, we're going to look at how to do the career agents for exploration in EVE Online. This is the career agent. It's one of the tutorial agents that you can only do once, but it's totally worth doing. So to get there, you go to the menu on the left and look for the agency, or you can press Alt-M. This will pull up some things to do. In this case, you want to go to agents and missions and career agents on the right. Once here, there's several different career agents. There's five of them. What I want to do is the exploration career path. So I'm going to set destination and I'm going to close it. And here I can see my route on the way there. So I'm going to undock and I'm going to jump three systems over and dock at that station where that agent is. So I'm going to use my route over here. I'm going to right click on the next system and click jump through Stargate. Warp drive it's going to active. jump there. Now I'm going to pause until I actually get to the station. All right, I'm doing my final warp to the station and I'm about to dock and start a conversation with the agent and start the chain of missions. There are five missions. Docking total. permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, so we want to come over here to the, the station information. We will go to agents and then find the exploration agent and click start conversation. You can also right click and hit start conversation. So here uh, mission number one of five they're offering it the information the conversation is going to be on the left and the actual mission details will be on the right so there's information that's usually really important on the, the one on the left for these tutorial missions welcome let's see if we can make an explorer out of you once you've undocked into space enable your sensor overlay and look around for a location named anomaly training site Okay, sensor overlay. We'll talk about that in a second. And we want to look for anomaly training site. This is a cosmic anomaly, which means it'll be easy to find. Easy to find meaning it doesn't require any special equipment, any probes or a probe launcher or anything like that. You can do it with any ship using your onboard scanner. Warp to it and I'll give you further instructions once you've made it there. Don't worry about combat this time around. We've cleared out the area for you. All right, our actual mission objective is to get an item, get this proof of discovery anomalies, and we'll get some money. Okay, comic, cosmic anomalies are commonly well guarded, uh, but in this case, we don't have to worry about it. So we'll just accept the mission, and we're going to do, like they said, undock, use our sensor overlay, and scan down that cosmic anomaly named training site. So now that I'm undocked, I'm going to come down to my scanner down here. Well, your scan overlay, first of all, is when you look around. Now, you see this circle here with that red square? That's a cosmic signature. This one here, this is another cosmic signature. These green ones are cosmic anomalies. They're just like cosmic signatures, except they're they're easier to find meaning you don't need any special equipment so there's an asteroid belt remnants there here there's another asteroid belt remnants and if we look around we can find other ones there's an anomaly training site so there's one right there if you look down at your your circular HUD here uh, if you mouse over it it'll tell you what all the different signature colors the icons mean on your overlay and you can turn the overlay on and off here so you mouse over around the edge and it'll give you the legend for what they all mean and you can turn off certain ones and turn off your whole sensor overlay by turning it on and off there so once you have it on you can actually see them there and the lines down here show you where they are so if you circle around you can see okay there's a line now we're centered on that green line 
and there it is right there. And if we look around, we can find other ones that way too. Sometimes you have to look up and down to find them. See, that one's a little higher up there. Okay, so that's one way to find the anomalies, but it's kind of difficult to look around like that. So the better way is to use your scan, your scan menu. So down here, around our ship menu, there's the scanners. And if we click on it, drag it to the left and click on probe scanners, you can get there also with Alt P. This will pull up your scan, your scan window. And we can see the solar system here. And if we zoom in and out with our mouse wheel, we can see the green, the green icons here. These are the cosmic anomalies. They're already 100% with just our onboard scanner. Now we can see them. We can mouse over and see that one's a training site. That one's an asteroid belt remnants, asteroid belt remnants. The asteroid belts are sites where you can do mining and find some rarer ore. The red ones are the ones that you would have to actually scan down with a probe scanner. But we're looking for the cosmic the cosmic anomaly, which is one that we can find already. And so we can do it a couple ways. We already saw one way where it's on your map or on your own screen if you look around. The other way is here, if we find it just like this, anomaly training site, we can just right click on it right there and say warp two. Why don't I just go ahead and do that now? The other way is active. to find it over here on this list. So you can see there's an anomaly training site. There's another one. There's a few of them because there's lots of people doing tutorials. So any one of them will work. You can also click this warp two icon right there. Instead of right clicking on one, you can just find one here, click warp two, right click, go to warp two. This is also where you'll launch your probes, but we don't have any probes or anything yet. We're not there yet, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to close this scan window now because we already warped to the location. Now it says, OK, you've done well. You're now inside the cosmic anomaly. Normally, you would be hostile ships present. OK, now we just need to go to the container and find the thing. So let's click on the container here in our overview, click approach. And if we zoom in, we can see there it is. And our ship is going to start approaching it. I'll turn on my afterburner to get there a little quicker. And once we're within 2500, it'll open up. We can click open cargo and put it in our ship cargo and take away the proof of discovery that we're looking for. There it is. We can click loot all, or we can just drag it into our cargo. All right, we've got it in our cargo. Now we can just dock, click the button over here, drive or find active. the station and right click and hit dock, or click the station and then click dock up here, or hold the hotkey, which is D, and then click on the station on your overview. We're gonna warp back to the station and we're gonna turn in our proof of discovery. So now that I'm back at the station, I can click start conversation and we can see we have a checkbox next to the item that we need to turn in and down at the bottom, we can press complete mission. Our standings went up and she says, excellent work. Finding the anomalies will seem easy to you after a while, but these first few steps can sometimes be overwhelming. And it is, it can be hard at first, but it gets really easy. Just keep it up and I'm sure you'll do fine. Okay, so in the next video, in the next video I'm gonna request the mission two and keep going.